Hey everybody, this is Simon from Simon Says Cycling and today I'm going to talk about muscle cramping. How do you avoid muscle cramping and what are the causes? I know many times when you do a long ride you'll hear other cyclists complaining about muscle cramps. This is typical when you do long rides of three, four, five hours. Towards the end many cyclists are, are cramping up in their hamstrings, in their quads and often are suffering. And there's a lot of information out there. What causes muscle cramps? Well, here's what we know that potentially causes muscle cramps. Number one, could be your bike fit. If your bike fit is not very good, you may be putting strain on certain muscle groups more than you need to. So that's one thing to look at is, is your bike position, your bike fit. The second thing you, you need to look at is hydration. How well are you hydrating? Uh, many times dehydration is a common cause of muscle cramps. And the main cause of muscle cramps is probably just muscular endurance. In other words, you're asking your muscles in that ride more than they've ever done in training. So in other words, your muscles are not conditioned to the type of riding you're doing at that moment. So how do you prevent muscle cramps? Well, it goes without saying then that if, if it's related to training, then you want to train your muscles to be able to perform that kind of riding. In other words, if your goal is to ride a century and you haven't done something similar in training, there's a chance that when you do that century, because you're asking so much more of your body, your muscles are going to cramp up. They're just not used to that workload. So that's one thing you need to look at. The, probably the main reason for muscle cramps is just muscular endurance and muscular fatigue. Your muscles are just not used to the workload that you're demanding from them at that time. The other thing you can do for prevention is hydration. Make sure you're hydrating with a lot of electrolytes. Sodium is key for you to stay well hydrated. Look at getting a very good sports drink with a high electrolyte content. Many of the sports drinks out there just don't have enough sodium and electrolytes. So that's really important is to, to make sure you're hydrated very well and also leading up to the event. You want to make sure you're hydrating with electrolytes, not just water because if you're just loading up with water right before the event in the days leading up, many times you're going to be running to the bathroom and you're actually going to be getting rid of many of your electrolytes. So you want to make sure you hydrate with um, good electrolyte content, salty foods, and make sure you, you're really optimally hydrated going into that event. And then throughout the ride, drink a good sports drink with a high electrolyte content. Some of the other things you can do to avoid cramps is incorporating strength training. Making your muscles stronger overall may help with uh, cramping. And the last thing again is, is bike fit. Make sure you have the best bike fit possible that you're not putting strain on certain muscles and not on others. You want to even it out so that you're very balanced on the bike and that you're not putting that extra strain where it doesn't need to be. Hope you guys enjoyed those tips. With that, Simon says go out there, have fun and pedal hard.